Well, hello there, darling. Did you miss me? Oh, yes, I know I saw you only a few weeks ago, but it always breaks my heart seeing you leave, especially when I know I won't be seeing you again for quite some time. After all, I believe the last time I saw you, well, of course, before the most recent time I saw you was months ago. Darling, we simply cannot allow it to persist like this. We have to find some way to spend more time together. Oh, yes, yes, I know, I always have this conversation with you, but we never do anything about it, but this time I really mean it. I'm going to talk to William about my schedule, and you ought to do the same with your master. Oh, yes, yes, I know, he prefers to be called his highness, but I'm not his servant, I don't have to do that. Oh, all right, only for you. Since that's what you prefer, very well. You'll have to speak to His Highness about rearranging your schedule so that you can see me more often. Oh, right. The little trancy brat does have some issues with his emotions, doesn't he? Well, perhaps you can help him with that. By the way, that leads me to my next topic of conversation— if I recall, the last time we saw each other, at our little sleepover, you were telling me that you possessed certain feelings for His Highness. Oh, come now, don't act so surprised that I remembered. Did you really expect me to forget something like that? Darling, what on earth do you take me for? Such drama, such delicious gossip. How could I possibly forget something like that? Hell, that's the reason I'm here, isn't it? After all, a little birdie, a birdie that happens to be standing right in front of me as we speak, happened to tell me the last time she saw me that her young master... Oh, my apologies, I know, I need to get better about that. His Highness was inviting another young master over for a costume ball, and I absolutely had to see this train wreck with my own eyes. So how could I forget such delicious gossip, such as your crush, when I didn't even forget my invitation to this lovely event? Oh, I am wearing a costume! Can't you tell? I'm supposed to be a demon, didn't you realize? You didn't even notice? Darling, I painted my nails all black for nothing. Oh, you did notice. Well, then why didn't you realize what I was? Oh? My costume is missing something. Do tell, darling, what is it missing? A contract seal? Darling, demons only have those when they're in contract with someone. I, on the other hand, am not. Therefore, I am free from having to have that ghastly mark on my hand. Oh, yes, yes, I know. It really isn't so bad, but I didn't want to have to go through the trouble of trying to draw it on my hand. Yes, I did attempt it several times, as you can probably tell from the slightly darker shade of my skin right here where I attempted to wash the pen off. Yes, I messed up several dozen times in an hour. Look, don't laugh at me. I'm no artist, you know this. Well, except for when it comes to murdering people, that is. Or when it comes to fixing your makeup, which I might need to do. Darling, what exactly is your costume supposed to be? Oh? You're attempting to be a fairy of some kind. And you do realize that most fairies don't have 
smudged mascara beneath their eyes, correct? Yes, darling, I'm afraid it did smudge. Quite a bit, actually. Do you perhaps want some assistance? Oh, of course, darling. Here, I always bring an extra handkerchief with me for just such an occasion. Now, look up. Because then it's easier to see where the mascara begins and where your eyelashes end. Just look up, okay? All right, I almost have it. Oh, stop twitching, would you? Goodness, if you keep blinking and allowing your eye to twitch like that, I'm going to end up poking your eye out. You don't want to end up like Miss Hannah Annafellows now, do you? Oh, yes, darling. As I said, I reviewed His Highness's life several weeks ago, and, well, I did see that little incident that he had with his other maid. Yes, I'm rather surprised that he hasn't done the same to you. He almost did? Whatever for, darling? No, I'm afraid I haven't read that far. What exactly did you do? Oh! Well, that would certainly do it. Yes, you almost called him by his first name. That is certainly inexcusable behavior for a maid, unless, of course, given permission by the master to say their name, but... If not, well then, you're pretty much screwed. Thank goodness he didn't hurt you, though. Otherwise, I know you love him, but if he hurt you, I'd have to murder him on the spot. Oh, come on, can you really blame me? You and I are best friends. Do you really think that I would allow anyone who hurt you to live more than ten seconds after? Goodness, darling, I am utterly offended. Do you really think so little of me that I would allow you to be hurt without punishing the person who harmed you? Oh, well, I suppose if it was a man with dark hair and dark eyes who was also rather tall, I... No, 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 I... I would not allow my feelings to get in the way of justice. All right, maybe I would just a little, but after flirting with him and most likely getting a shoe in my face again, I would promptly kill him. Oh, darling, if a woman hurt you, it would be so much easier to kill her as punishment. Oh, yes, all I'd have to do is imagine her kissing Sebastian, and then off goes the chainsaw. Oh, indeed, darling. I am the jealous type, as I'm sure you know. Oh, come now, like you aren't the same way yourself. I notice the stern looks you give C.L. Phantom Hive whenever you see him. Oh, indeed, darling. I can tell you're rather jealous of the attention he gets from your young master. Sorry, from his highness... Uh, Ciel always insists that Sebastian call him his young master, so unfortunately I'm rather used to referring to earls as such. I'm trying to do better for your sake, I promise, darling. I know how much you enjoy viewing him as royalty. Oh, please, darling, you treat him like a king when he's nothing more than a brat. At least, in my opinion... I understand why he behaves the way he does, but I really don't understand the appeal, which is a rather good thing, considering I am an adult and he is a child. You, on the other hand, it's appropriate for you, but if I were to understand the appeal, mm -mm, that would not be all right. Anyway, I'm getting off track. You are a little jealous, are you not? Oh, don't deny it, darling. You looked away when I said that. Looking away often implies deception, as making eye contact can make one nervous when trying to deceive someone. 
I know that you're jealous of the elephant alive, and I could help you if you wanted me to. Oh, certainly, darling. After all, his highness is standing all alone in that corner without anyone to dance with him. So how about I attempt to make him interested in a dance with you? You don't think it'll work, darling? Oh, well, then, if you think it won't work, I suppose. Oops! Oh! Watch where you're going. This is your second slip up this month. Do you really want me to. Oh, you're sorry? How sorry will you be when I poke your eye out just like I did to Hannah? Hm? How sorry will you be then? Oh, yes, I know. I'm not supposed to make a scene until Claude comes back. I know the routine, believe me. What do you think of Ciel Phantom Hive? What do you think I mean? Do you think that I can beat him? Have you not been paying attention? Ugh, I should expect no less from a human like you. You seem to forget that he and I are playing a very interesting game with each other. You see, I'm trying to make him mine. And he keeps ordering that stupid butler of his to get in the way. Well, tonight is going to be a little bit different. Oh, yes. Though our original plan has already failed, I do have a few other tricks up my sleeve. Oh, you'll find out in due time. That is, if you can be bothered to pay any attention to it. Anyway, we ought not to make a scene, as you said. How about you and I discuss your costume? What are you supposed to be? Oh? A fairy? Well, you do look rather lovely. You look just like the fairies in my storybooks. You're welcome. So, do tell me... Why exactly did you bump into me? Were you trying to spill a drink on me? Your friend pushed you? Now why ever would they do that? Spit it out already, would you? We haven't got all night. You're not even talking at this point. You're moving your mouth, but no sound is coming out. Oh? Your friend wanted me to dance with you. And why is that? I told you before, I can't understand you when you're literally not talking. Oh. You think that I'm a good dancer? Very well then, I suppose I could dance with you for a little while. You don't mind if I allow you to take the lead now, do you? Oh, good. Then do lead me out to the dance floor, would you? That's a good girl. Now, how many dancers do you want to spend with me? How many are you permitted? As many as you want, as long as you keep complimenting my dancing. Oh, certainly. If you wish to dance together for the rest of the night, I'd be more than happy to accompany you. Of course. After all, I am rather interested in fairies, and you make them look rather lovely, my lady.